y'all know I'm gonna be posting on my channel for real. But I'm still getting subscribers. I love the support. Still getting comments, likes. I be commenting back. I just love be making videos. But my hair has been. I just co-washed it a couple of days ago, and I've just been rocking it in a low puff like that. So I just brushed it back with gel. So I'm about to wash my hair. Do a quick weave. A middle part, I'm going to use that Zuri Dream Weave hair. It's synthetic. I'm using the Ocean Wave, I believe. I'll show y'all everything, but I was like, let me try to vlog style this quick weave. This time last year, my hair was damaged kind of purposely because I knew it was going to be damaged for how I was uh, bleaching my hair. I wasn't taking the proper steps to make it a healthy process to retain the length. So I had basically burned all my edges off these was gone i'm gonna try to insert a picture from january of last year showing y'all how i started the year off because back then whoo child i had just enough hair to do a ponytail or like braids or something but um yeah so i made a conscious decision this year of 2023 to treat my hair cut all of the damage off over the year span so yeah, this is where I'm at now. It's December 2023. This is Jill. I'm about to wash my hair, but you know you should not be washing tangled hair. Yeah, step one, don't wash tangled hair. Do not wish your hair to detangle it. I'm tired of people telling y'all that. Use oil. I already have argan oil that was on my hair, but my hair is easy to detangle because I don't... With everything that I do with my hair, I make sure, I make sure it's detangled first. And always work on detangled hair. Do not take a hairstyle down and wet it to detangle it. Put oil on it, boo. Like, I'm making it a habit to follow hair scientists. Hair scientists, when they're telling us what to do with our hair. Not just a stylist that created a natural product and telling you to grease your scalp and oil your scalp. You're not supposed to be doing that. Hair products go up on the hair, not the scalp. The only way I think I would put something on my scalp is if a, a dermatologist told me to. I'm going to use this blow dry primer as well as this Beyond the Zone. Yeah, Beyond the Zone heat protective spray.
so far I've done this quickly with no mirror. I don't know what any of my mirrors are outside of the ones that's on the walls in bathrooms. So, and my big huge mirror, but I wasn't about to, it wasn't gonna make sense. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm just now starting to add the 613. I have, okay, this is a black shirt, so you can't really see, but I have both bundles that are 24 inch in, and now I just put in one piece of the 613, which is 18 inch. These last two bundles are 18 inch. No, I'm not about to fit two entire bundles of hair in my head. I'm just closing up the weave at this point. But
Okay, so I have finished my hair. This is all of the black 18 inch that I have left. And as far as the 613 bundle goes, this is how much I have of that bundle left. So from here to here. So far, I'm loving the hair. I might cut little layers into it. I'm gonna see if the ends of the 18 inches, if they will relax a little bit. Let's see if I can show y'all, because it's kind of like, you can tell it's two different lengths. It is not blending like layers. Let's see, you can see like the ends. So yeah, <clears throat> this is the hair. I changed it to the pink top. So y'all yeah, could see the hair. I'm loving it. I will be doing the style pretty frequently, but the next time that I do it, because I don't feel like adding no pieces in now, I'm have pieces like in the hair that are 613. Yeah. So I can have like pieces popping out instead of just at the top, which I still like it. Still love how my hair came out. That's just the only thing that I would do differently. So yeah, this is the look. We're gonna see how long this holds up today. It's um Thursday, December 28th. So I'm trying to see if this will last till see right here how it flips at the very ends. Cause the ends of these flip too. But this is 18 inch hair compared to 24 inch. So I might press that a little. I might put my flat iron on its lowest setting and press the ends out of the 18 inches. So when I brush my hair, it won't flip out. You can tell that just you know, different size bundles, different length bundles, but yeah. I'm loving it. So happy I did a middle part and not a side part because I was debating. I was debating with myself on that. But next time I might do a side part though. This will be fire in the side part. But actually cut it is not. Around 275. Just trying to hit where the pieces hit. Where the 18 inch hits the 24 inch. Yeah, there we go. But I don't want to take out too much of the wave. Because I'm also not trying to go in and pick apart each 18 inch piece versus the 24. But some of the 24 inch is going to be flat ironed a bit in the middle, but I want it to blend with the 18 inch hair. Yes, this is doing what I needed to do. And again, my flat iron is on 275. This is a titanium plate flat iron. I don't, if it was ceramic, probably 315 will probably work. I just have to see how long this hair holds up because I'm liking it. I'm liking it.